Today, we're going to drill a hole and tap it for a 1032 screw. We're going to attach a uh, Adel clamp to a piece of metal, something that's done in every code 12, every transportation, literally every industry code that Highline service. I'm going to be using a pre-made assortment, a DTS-NC, which is a small assortment that you can build your own special on, sell it very inexpensively, but it comes with the drill bits and the taps right next to each other. Anytime you're drilling or tapping a great cutting oil like this CRC part number AS33 is absolutely outstanding. Uh, some of the features I like besides the ability to cut is when you spray it on it goes one place and stays there. The worst thing for bits is high speed and heat. So uh, cutting fluid and drilling slow is mandatory. Using taps and dies, you need the T-handle. The T-handle has a chuck where you chuck your tap. The tap will be used to thread the hole once you get the hole drilled. It's got flutes. What the flutes do is they keep the metal shavings. As you turn this, the threads cut the metal and the flutes give a place for the metal filings to fall. Anytime you're using power equipment, you've got to put your safety glasses on. Protect those eyes. All right. A 1032 hole, which is this tap. So we're going to come up here with the number 10 bit. Insert it into the chuck. So we're going to put some cutting fluid right here. It stays. Just, it may run down a little bit, but it'll stay right where you want. And then you begin to drill your hole. Put the bit down. Clean off the burrs. Make sure you've got a nice clean hole. Now we're going to get the TD-150 handle and a 1032 tap. You put your tap into the chuck. It's got four square sides so that it doesn't rotate or slip. You want to tighten it in there securely. The tap is very, very brittle. You've got to be careful not to break the tap. We're going to put a little bit more cutting fluid right on the hole because the tap will be cutting threads. Now when you tap, you want to put your tap in there and get it started and make two or three revolutions. You'll feel it start to grip. Once it starts to grip, don't force it. Just keep tapping it through about oh, one to one and a half revolutions. You want to twist it in there no more than typically to start one to one and a half turns. And then the reason you back it off is to let it clean the threads out. A tap has flutes in it, which allows the excess metal to fall away, making the threads clean. Now you can see the tap coming through the other end back here. And you know you're all the way through and you should be tapping a clean hole by that time. You can just back your tap back out. The threads here are 1032, so we need to make sure we've got a 1032 screw to go inside. You see the trash that's in between these flutes. That's what it was physically cutting out uh, to create the threads. Now we're just going to wipe it off. As you know from the assortment, you can tap any size hole. Now we've got our clamp, screwdriver, and we're going to go through the process of screwing this screw in. See if we got it right. Sure enough, it's going in nice and smooth. The 
imagine anywhere you want to put this clamp, run either a hydraulic line, electric cable, trailer cable, battery cable, no matter what. You can tap any size hole, put any kind of clamp. We've got cable ties that you put screws on. Uh, anything that's mounted with threads, this is how it's done.